Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're taking it back to school. Well, at least for me, but I know that it's May, therefore graduations are approaching. And many of you have wrote me asking what to do with your curly hair and your grad cap. Like many things in life, grad caps weren't really created with big, curly, ethnic, natural hair in mind. It's either just like, just not gonna fit or just like give you like really weird hat hair. You know, I guess it works. You know, for being the symbol of education and smartness, it's a pretty stupid hat. So, I mean, there is this. I was able to get it over my fine hair, but if your hair is any thicker than mine or you have bigger, more voluminous hair, this just ain't gonna work. So, I've already made a video a couple years ago showing you the grad cap hack. If you haven't seen it, we're gonna do it again today as a little refresher. And I also thought of a new idea that we're gonna try as well. So now that I've messed up my hair because this is not satin line, so once you throw off your hat, you're gonna have really weird hat hair at the end of the ceremony. But this is how you do the graduation curly hair hack. You get your cap, right? All you're gonna need is a headband. You can get this from the dollar store just about anywhere. Any drugstore should have a normal black headband. And then you're gonna need some tape. This is pretty hefty duty, but any type of sturdy tape will work. What you're gonna do is you take your hat, you take oh, Bianca Brown 07, I'm dating myself and showing you my maiden name. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this headband right in the middle and then I'm gonna grab some tape. All you're gonna do is tape it in the middle. So it looks like that. Then we're going to fold in all the extra fabric like this and then you just put it on. Do, 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 do. Simple. Now it's on your head. It's not giving you any hat hair. It's just basically just a headband. And to secure, you can grab some bobby pins. One on this side, right on the headband. And one on this side. Secure it in place. Cheese! Shout out to class of 2011. It's been a long time. But I wanted to redo this video to one, make sure you guys knew of this graduation cap so you don't have any excuses as to why you need to straighten your hair for graduation. I don't wanna hear it. But as you can see from my previous curly hair graduation cap video, my hair has changed a lot. So when I had bangs, I was able to pull off these hairstyles, but I wanted to try it again now that my hair is longer and I don't have the bangs. Let's give it a try. As you can see, this does look fine, but it is, you know, a little, it's a little flat. It's just like a pizza right on top of your head. But what if we were able to give it some height? First, I wanna give a shout out to Grad Cap Remix. I found this girl on TikTok and she has basically created a whole invention to fix this exact problem. So hers is an actual contraption that you stick into the cap and then you the headband's already attached and you're good to go. So one, shout out to this new small black owned woman owned business. She saw the problem so she realized there was a need and created a little business around it and I respect that. Now her invention is about $20, so a headband is 99 cents. You probably already have some tape at home. This is definitely the easy DIY route if you're on that college life budget, which is probably where you are. But if you do have a bunch of curly heads in your family and you guys are all about to graduate curly, I think it is a good little investment that you guys all could share, otherwise, if you're only gonna wear it one time, you might not wanna spend 20 bucks on this invention, but I still think it's really cool. Just wanted to give them a little shout out. But what I liked about her invention is that it gave your cap some height. So instead of just putting the headband straight on here, I'm gonna take it off and I'm just gonna add a bowl. This is another cheap little plastic bowl, probably from the dollar store. And I'm gonna stick it in here. And then I'm going to fold all the pieces around the bowl. And then I'm gonna tape it. That way we have a little bit of height. So we'll grab some more tape, 
definitely making my dad proud right now. He tapes everything. If I broke a bone, you would just tape it. Taping some here. Once again, this is definitely uh, the bootleg. I'm on a budget. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> well, maybe you do have time, because if you ain't got time, you might as well buy the real deal. Like so. Look at that. Now we grab our headband and tape it in the middle. Ta-da! Oh, let's hide the tape. I don't want to be exposed now. So now, when you put it on, look at that! Now I have some height! It's kind of cute! I mean, do whatever you guys like. If you like the lifted look, you could stick a bowl in there. If you like it flat against your head, you could do that as well. Because we do now have a bowl on top of our head, we definitely need to bobby pin this down, like so. Two of them. Boom! Ready to walk the stage. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Graduation hats are just silly little hats that really don't have any style to them. And you're gonna wear them for one day, one morning, and that's about it. Okay, so now that we've got our cap down, let's try some different styles. Obviously, down and big is always a vibe, but let's see what else we can do with it now that I don't have my bangs. Let's do a side ponytail. So I'm just gonna grab it all. You do not need to slick this down because you're gonna have a hat on. I mean, you can if, you, if you're planning on taking it off. Ta-da! If you are gonna have the front of your head exposed, you can go ahead and do some little baby hairs. I just took out the bowl, and I think on a slick back look, I actually like how it looks better just flat. So obviously, it's your graduation, it's your hair. Do whatever you like better. If you like the raised look, or if you just like it flat to your head. I'm gonna bobby pin this down again. And there we go. Cute little side ponytail. So in my previous graduation video, I also did a low bun look when my hair was kind of like at shoulder length, but now let's try it now that it's longer. And I'm just gonna loop it once. And then just go like this, leaving out some curls. Kinda like that. And then I'm gonna bobby pin this little crazy part here. So it's stuck to my head, like that. Probably would slick this down if I wasn't trying to do multiple looks, but oh cute, she's sophisticated and educated. If this was the style that you chose to wear, I would recommend just slicking this down just so it's as smooth and flat as possible. I'm not going to because I'm gonna keep trying to make different looks. Okay, now this one I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do on my longer hair because when you have short hair, you have the greatest pineapples of all time. But I'm gonna see if I can try to flip. Did I do all my hair? Let's try. Try flipping all my hair into a pineapple of some sort. Well, actually, I guess I could do a ponytail. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's see how a ponytail looks. So, grabbing our hat. Look at that! That's cute too. I like the ponytail. But let's see if we can bring it up to the front for a pineapple look. Maybe I'm painting blue. What I'm to do. Or maybe, hmm, what if we kind of messy bun it? And then do something. Oh, okay, I'm onto something. I'm onto something. So I did kind of like a messy bun where I started with the pineapple, left out the curls, and then we're gonna put this behind the bun. Oh, snapperoonies. This is gonna require some serious bobby pinning. But if we can get this to stay, it's kind of like creating my my pineapple look from my first video. But it is, it is loose. So I'm gonna have to really secure this down. That's pretty cute. 
Okay, new fave again. This is my favorite in my last video and it's my favorite again. Just didn't think I'd be able to pull it off with long hair, so the bobby pins are a must. And I kind of like the cap in the back as like a accessory more than like a, a hat on top. So if you could do like the lean with it, rock with it type of look, I think I like it better. So these are all of my curly graduation hairstyles. Comment below, let me know which was your favorite. And just remember that you do not need to straighten your hair for special occasions. Your curls are beautiful all the time and they should be rocked even on your most memorable days. And with all the people in your class that are graduating, your parents, family, friends are gonna be trying to find you in the audience and it's much easier to find curly hair than straight hair. Just saying. Congratulations to all of you that are graduating this year. You did it. You can finally say goodbye to either high school and move on to college, bigger and better things. Or if you're graduating from college, you're done. You're done. Just the thought of not having to do homework ever again just truly brings me joy. Um, but now that I have kids, I'm gonna have to do school all over again. Please share this video with anyone that you know that is graduating this year that might need some tips on how to rock their beautiful curls. I'm also so close to 600,000 subscribers. So if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I post new curly hair videos every week and I promise you, you will learn a thing or two about your curls if you stick around. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.